hello friends today we got a requirement that what are the CUD operations as are like uh, not, uh, not only CUD what are the DML operations like insert update deleted okay all these operations has to be recorded from the what uh, in the table A and that has to be replicated in the table B this is what Excel requirement to achieve this uh, we can use the database level triggers uh, for DL, DDL operations we have to use server level but uh, server level triggers are not supported in Azure SQL databases uh, let's do that practically first we are going to create a ta uh, two tables one is table A and table B and we are going to create uh, uh, triggers insert triggers update trigger and delete trigger on these tables then, then uh, finally we are going to perform the activities let's do that okay now i am going to create a two uh, two, ta uh, two tables one is table a and table b with same columns okay click execute now i am going to create a trigger so i will explain how to do that create a trigger and uh, yeah, this is a trigger name name can be anything on it on table name and what are the action we need to perform after insert as and begin we need to state this is the no no count this is the parameter and we need to declare the variables what are the columns we have so i am declaring variable id is equal to init name is equal to worker and salary is equal to int the same thing whatever we have created here the same thing the variables we have to create and that what I'm going to do, I'm going to select ID is equal to ID and name is equal to name from the table and all this. Okay. Later, I'm inserting that into table B as it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I'm ending the logic here. At the end. I'm, I have created a uh, yeah. Now the same thing something will be different why because here we will get some magic tables here whenever we see here deleted inside the triggers we have some magic tables okay that we called as a delete and inserted okay the same thing create a trigger and trigger name on the table we are going to create on the table here right so that's on the table name what is the action we need to perform after delete as begin these are all common and these variables are common okay I am selecting the ID from where I am going to delete uh, selecting that ID from the deleted magic table from where the from where it is I am delete uh, selecting the deleted table okay uh, now what I am trying to insert I am using the same formula so uh, delete from table name where id is equal to id it means it is going to delete the records in table b where id is where the id is equal to id so we have already deleted right so we have already deleted here okay whatever uh, we have deleted the same thing will get deleted in the table b as well and i am ending the logic here now so uh, for triggers insert and delete operations are uh, we can write the logic very easy but coming to update trigger what are the columns we have for the whole columns we have to write it okay so the same thing i am declaring the variables i am selecting that and i am here here update is equal to id and here we have the name here i am writing the logic update table set id is equal to id and name is equal to name salary is equal to salary and id is equal to id new why because i am going to delete or update anything via id only okay click execute Now I am going to insert three records. Okay, let's see the table A and table B. 
see we have three rows now i am going to uh, delete a row with id to 2 okay now let's see that again sir so, see the same thing for in the table here it was deleted and table uh, b also got deleted now what i am going to do i am setting the update uh, here i have one id right id is equal to one now i need to set as a like 10 order click execute and go to select first change now now i need to set what is the id we have in the name here we have nasha right and now in the name of Harsha, i need to set as a super check that again okay now i need to increase the salary i need to change the salary right select the salary and from three three two or for three hundred to three thousand see it was changed so this is how you need to achieve the triggers so what are the logic we have written in the same thing replace with your columns once you done with all the scenarios uh, then you have to uh, then you can go with the cleanup so we have one dm uh, with uh, dmv one system triggers uh, which execute uh, which gives you other uh, triggers that are available in the database okay the, these many uh, we are up to now we have created three triggers so we are yeah, so we are able to see three so then uh, we are going to drop the triggers as well and for that you can drop the tables this is how you can clean up the slab okay i hope you like this video that all the script files will be given in the description box thank you for watching bye